الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف المرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم بمددكم ونزلكم سيدي رسول الكريم حبيب العظيم فاوز بالله من الشيطان الرديم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اتي الله اتي الرسول اول الامر منكم and always a reminder for myself and Abdul Qalaji so da'ifu, miskeen or zalim or jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that the last 10 days of Ramadan, Ramadan al-Kareem at Kumin al-Nar is a immense freedom from difficulty with the rahmah of Allah and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad that draws us in and gives us even the ability for siyam and for fasting and to complete and make Allah to be happy with us. This is a, a gift that Allah has given to the blessed soul and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad because of love that He created this creation of Muhammadun Rasulullah from His Divinely love. And He gave it from its Divinely grace and because of its Divinely reward He wants that light to be the most accomplished, most gifted, most praised, most beloved light. As soon as we draw that light near to ourselves and enter within the light, not only does the light of the servant vanish and the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah overwhelm every other minor light but that light grants us the ability to accomplish what Allah wants from us, to please Allah to accomplish the ibadah and the worshipness that makes our Lord to be happy with us. And from the second 10 days of maghfirah and forgiveness that no doubt anyone in the presence of that light asking for forgiveness, Allah forgives that soul for the sake of the nearness to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And yet min an-nar what we described last night for ourselves as a reminder is that Allah how can I punish them in Holy Qur'an, Ayat al-Kareem, how can I punish them when they're asking forgiveness and they're in your presence. So this is the great awakening and understanding. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nur John, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. From awliya, from their seclusions and their trainings that they saw many things may be resolved with their zikrs, their du'as but freedom from fire can only come by the intercession and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and they saw it in their qab, they saw the azab that everyone is due, everyone has a place reserved in Jahannam and it's our duty to find this Divinely love to free ourselves from that abode and from that seat of punishment. And it's not by our deeds and it's not by our prayers, it's not by our zakat, it's all of the, the shahada, the, the salah, the zakah, the hajj, all of the usul and the principles of Islam were not the freedom from hellfire. Those that we did when we took our shahada, then we give a zakah, then we make our salah, then we go for our hajj, 
those were all supposed to make the character to be beautific and submissive. It wasn't the, the goal, it was a means that Allah gave for us to reach the king and submit and to have that love to move in the presence. Means one who doesn't testify how he's going to reach to the presence of Muhammad and Rasulullah. If the one day they're not giving zakah, not giving salah, not giving zakah, if he doesn't make salah how he's going to reach to the presence? Means each of those principles of Islam, pillars of Islam, those are the pri pillars of Islam, they weren't the, the goal. They were the means in which to reach to the goal. So it's not the one who gives shahada, the bill, I reached everything's fantastic now my, my I'm in paradise. But Allah said, by taking that shahada you're now one step closer to reaching my most beloved. When you give your, your salah and you begin to submit yourself to the will of Allah you're now a second step closer to reaching to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad As soon as you give yourself zakah and you want to purify, zaki is a purification, I want to purify my wealth, my possession and I want to purify my soul. Now that you've been washed you're now closer to go to the presence of Prophet and as soon as they begin to make the Sa'um of Ramadan, the, the fasting of Ramadan, it's the only act that they can do that Allah will grant them this level of purity and dress and the secrets of Israhi wal Maraj. What we describe is these are all the, the haqqaiqs of a tasbih, each bead has its immense reality but when you put them together it shows you the reality of your approach to Muhammad and Rasulullah He wants to give this immense station. How are you going to reach now this immense station? Allah says, the only way you can reach is don't do anything, abstain for my sake because I'm the only one whom can dress you from these realities. I dress you with what no ear has heard, no angel has seen, no, 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 no nothing. There are no two that are similar of the dress that Allah wants to give and then prescribe for us the fasting of Ramadan. Because all of these some people feel that that's the gift, they stop at that, I'm somebody who fasts that's it I reach the highest level. No, the fasting was not something to be proud of but was a gift from Allah that you reaching now to the threshold of the presence. Because what is the next is hajj. So everyone's making the imitated hajj where $20,000 of tickets and hotels and, and whatever we have to do in life is the imitated hajj. But all of these usul, all of these pillars should have opened the real hijrah into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad that they testified to the oneness of Allah and that the gate and door of Sayyidina Muhammad that they came into salah and they submitted themselves and prayed in the way of Alif, Ha, Meem, Dal by imitating their master, their liege lord, the one whom is the imam for all creations and brings all creation into the presence of Allah because only thing in the presence of La ilaha illallah is not you, not me, not an angel, not anything but Muhammadun Rasulullah So all of these Allah gave as a gift that do these, don't be proud of them, do them, come with humility, I'm going to open for you the greatest hijrah, the greatest gift in which all nations will make that hijrah on Yawmul Qiyamah, Yawmul Mashah, the day of judgment in which the fire and the heats and all nations running to their prophets asking that you save us and each prophet from Shafat al-Qubra, the grand intercession and the hadith on the grand intercession, each prophet saying, I have a deficiency, 
I'm not that one. And if you study the levels of the hearts then we understand that the nation of Adam, they go to Adam and they say that, you help us, I'm not that one. They go to Sayyidina Nuh, Sayyidina Ibrahim, Sayyidina Musa, Sayyidina Isa and then collective nations all come to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and they ask for the holy intercession of Sayyidina Muhammad Means everyone's going to do it. But the ummah that accepted that, the nation that accepted, do you understand that reality? Do it while you're living for the reward is much higher than being forced from the grave and judgment day and all the azab of judgment day to reach to that. Allah's blessings and grace is when He inspires a person and a human, a creation they come to that reality, give your testimony of faith, begin to submit your will to the will of your Creator in the form and the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah Give your zakah, give your alms to purify yourself, your bad character, your bad desires and then to wash your soul with that alms giving. That when we give zakah it washes the soul, takes away the sins and the impurities of the body. That every human has like a festering sickness upon themselves. As soon as they give zakah and sadaqah and whatever Prophet has prescribed for us, it's as if you cut the sickness and all of the disease leaves the person's physicality and their soul. And as a result they enter into their hijrah. That each gate was so significant, how could you enter the gate until you accepted the oneness? And if you accepted the oneness then you, you understand that you have the demon and your life should be about praying. That I want to sit myself to the Lord Almighty, I want to be in the Muhammadan form, in the Muhammadan way in which to submit myself to Allah and rid myself of myself. Then Allah opens the next key, now give your zakat. Begin to purify yourself, your body, your soul and everything about you. And that's why in Surah Al-Munafiqeen Allah describes the Salihin, gives an event that when a person dies and they… it's like a second, they don't understand that they died but they realize they're in Divine the Presence. And Allah describes in Surah Al-Munafiqeen that the only thing the servant will ask for is not, let me go back and make uh, my prayers, let me go back and complete more hajjas, let me go back and do this and do that, but Ya Rabbi let me go back and give all my wealth so that I can be from amongst the Salihin. Because that level of purification is the reality of self-sacrifice that grants the door to the next key. Which what was, what was the, the zakah of Imam Hussain He put his family. He said, where Sayyidina Ibrahim didn't want to sacrifice his son, we bring all our sons into this fat battlefield and they will all lay their lives down for you. Means beyond the concept of giving money, giving this, giving that, Allah said, this zakah and zahki and purification that you must give from yourself. You must give what's dear to you and you must give it in the way of Allah that is the key to the opening of this hijrah. The key to the presence of that reality of your pilgrimage and that's the, the journey to the Lord of power. Allah describes the, the presence of Prophet taught by one whom shadeed al quwwa That's why we say the Lord of power. That when you think you're entering into the presence of Prophet at those levels of marifah, this is the power oceans of Allah in which the servant to be purified and clean. They accepted the oneness, they took a life of salah and praying rid myself of myself and fill me with these lights 
and then enter the life of sacrificing. They sacrifice money, they sacrifice time, they sacrifice their food. MashaAllah so many people are emailing that they don't really have much and they went out and bought food and they're feeding people. This is the beatific keys for this hijrah that coming. Because every year is one cycle where we're trying to get closer. What coming now after the ninth month? The twelfth month which is the month of hijrah. And the reality of our, our, our principles, the pillars of Islam is not anything to be proud of and that we accomplished but each of them were keys for the greater presence. And the only time one can be proud is if they reach the presence that their hijrah became real and their pride is in the magnificence and munificence of Allah's gift that they feel a pride in their heart that, Ya Rabbi what you have honoured me with, of which I was completely not worthy of. And what Allah describes that presence, Sultan and Nasira. They entered in their life through Maqa'a Siddiq, they went through the gates of truth and they went with the noble companions and truthful companions and noble Ahlul Bayt that led them, taught them, perfected their character that every gate and every step they took was from the Siddiqs, truthful, honest and in their deeds and in their actions, no corruption, no dirtiness, no vileness, no, no the fooling and cheating of people. Maqa'a Siddiq that the great Siddiq Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq is the father of this way Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah. The come that every, every step you go has to be the truthful gate. Until you give your zakah, give your zaki, purify yourself and give yourself for your Lord. And then what Allah opened for that servant to the presence of Sultan and Nasira. Now you're in the presence of the authorized king of Allah and that Prophet must sign. If Prophet has not signed your presence then your hijrah is still in an imitation. So it's nice, people are happy, they go and spend lots of money. This is a nice imitation but at every moment we should be imitating that reality. At every moment visualizing ourselves moving into that direction and saying, Ya Rabbi the imitated hajj is nice for people but grant me the real hijrah. I want to be from the real hujaj, the one whom labaik, Allahumma labaik, that I'm at the presence and the feet of Sayyidina Muhammad and that you are in his Divinely heart. And that I reach to that reality and I give my life to serve that reality. We pray that Allah open for us that this Laylatul Qadr is an understanding that Laylatul Qadr is a time in which the Qur'an will reveal its energies. And many people are searching for Laylatul Qadr. I even saw people posting what the weather will be like. Laylatul Qadr may be cloudy, Laylatul <laughs> Qadr may be raining, Laylatul Qadr may be like this. This is an entertainment. Laylatul Qadr is in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Anything to do with Holy Qur'an is in the house of the Holy Qur'an which is the heart of Prophet Wasallam's eternal soul. From that eternal soul Anzalnahu is coming to Janabahu and from that authority, that power Allah is giving the isharat, open the power. It opens from the fountainhead of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad As a reality then why go downstream? to catch that. 
Because when you go downstream you're looking for signs, maybe the water will flash over us, maybe it'll be misty in the sky, maybe it'll be like this. Use your buraq. What we described this year the buraq was? This. So nice. Sit on these Laylatul Qadrs which is the even nights because you're waiting for the odd night, right? We celebrate 26th because the Maghrib will hit the 27th and become the night of 27th. Then Ashiqeen they sit with the love of Prophet and say, I don't know what event going to come, not come, what to expect, I actually expect nothing. All I want to be is in the presence of your holy soul. This is my qadr and this is shadeed al quwwah for me. And I make my salawats and visualize myself a Rosa Sharif in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and whatever Allah is dressing upon your soul, whatever your realities are, dress me from those for the sake of my love for you. Dress my family, my community and all your ashiqeen from this endless love and eternal love. So alhamdulillah no need to search when Laylatul Qadr is, Laylatul Qadr is always a power in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad But these 10 days Allah is giving special gifts, special gifts. And to ashiqeen then alhamdulillah they should never miss these gifts because it's their love that they sent into that present, not their brain like waiting for a bus, what time this bus comes, what, what street this bus is coming on. Ashiqeen they come with their heart, they gave their heart, they put their heart, they put everything into this reality. And their heart connects with Prophet and moves into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And by means of that connection those lives dressing and blessing the souls. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.